Hello, and welcome to Making Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the Voger Time. This is an LED star kit, and I got this off Amazon for a total of $12.99. I've been very impressed with their kits lately. I had just put this together, the Voger Time. This is the AMFM Radio VT08. And this went together so easy and it worked so well that I was impressed and I thought I'd give something else a try. So I decided to pick up their LED star kit as a present for my wife. And also to demonstrate a little bit of practice for those who are interested in intermediate kit building. This may be considered to some as a basic kit, but I consider it intermediate because of all the components. And let me show you. So it comes a nice little bubble wrap here. Vogue time, fun project, fun time. Nice rhyme. Loving it. Okay, so there's our empty bubble mailer. Okay, so in there we get a pack full of stuff here. That's how they come packaged. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside. Go over the pieces and then talk about build strategies. All right, so I'm just going to pull this stuff out of here and set it aside. Not a tight fit here. Yeah, they got lots of parts in this bag. This will be a fun build. Okay, let's go over the pieces here. So first things first, I'd like to go over the PCB. Here it is, the LED star kit. So we have 40 LEDs. Uh, that's going to be a lot of soldering. That's why I call it intermediate. It might be pretty basic for some, but uh, for practice, this is definitely good. Um, for $12.99, this kit's amazing. You get 40 LEDs, plus they give you four in case you mess up. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, so you'll have 80 pins to solder on those. And then you have a 28-pin socket here for the MCU. And then you'll have over here a USB port coming in, various switches, and I believe a speaker too, because this has a music to it also, along with the light. Pretty cool setup. And on the back, you can see some Chinese writing a little bit of a, you know, your a voltage and ground, giving an idea what's happening there. And a little bit of uh, information up here. Oh, this is cool. Uh, this is neat. So if you have a special cable, you're going to be able to program the MCU to do different things. That is neat. Wow, I did not know that. But I saw the PCB. Very cool. Nice. Okay, so that's that. Let's keep rolling here. Uh, let's see. we got a bag of LEDs. Fun. <laughs> So there should be 44 of them. Probably count them and check to make sure. Getting four extra is a nice thing. Thanks, guys. Again, for $12.99, I'm pretty impressed so far because they're giving you an enclosure for the kit when you're done. That is really nice. And here's some support brackets for it. There we go. And that'll be neat when I'll have it all finished and showing you guys. And then uh, here in this bag, 10 little extra parts. We got some switches I told you about. Looks like a capacitor. Uh, let's get more switches. Maybe, maybe those are potentiometers here. Some kind of, yeah. And then we have uh, standoffs and a USB port. You got a solder on the board right there. USB port and then a cable to power it. Okay, that'll be a fun thing. And then, oh, there's a little speaker. Okay, set that aside. And then we have the main chip. Uh, they give you the holder, which is really cool. So it's removable. So that's a 28 pin holder you're going to solder in the board. And over here is the MCU that you can program. Now I'm about to find out how easy it is to program this chip. I'm trying to get some light on this. So you guys maybe can read what that says. Okay, I'm not really getting that into focus. Oh, there we go. If that means anything to you guys. Okay, great. So let's look at the instructions. Pretty simple single page sheet, it looks like. All right, so they go over... Booger Time, Star Soldering Project Kit Instruction. Thank you for purchasing their kit. It says, of course, the cool kit can be a nice present and adornment for your family and friends. Yeah, I figured that'd be pretty nice. Basic kit overview. Talk about solder steps. Take your time. I'm just showing you this, guys, if you need to pause and read this. This is really basic here. Um, here you go, mounting shell. Now, the nice thing is they give you, I believe, their email address. Oh, there it is. On the back. Go ahead and email them, and they'll send you a PDF file. Really cool people. Uh, they respond really quickly. There's a components list, and I believe there's a chart here of component uh, schematics, LEDs showing a direction, which way they go in, how things are mounted. There's some switches. 
the speaker going over the oh here's the USB connection there you are and then this is I believe the MCU there you are okay so there's the basic instructions and I got the PDF file from them which I'll show you really quick here we go but bear with me my toner was running out so some of the images are smeared but the text came out okay so right away they give you a little beginning blurb again here the overview the component list which is really nice they do give you pictures of the layout of the items all laid out there so you can actually match up to make sure you got the same thing and when you're on the computer it's beautiful color or if you're using an iPad or a tablet next to you that's always nice I'm gonna start doing that by the way <laughs> when I start doing these kits I'll have a nice presentation with an iPad hopefully so here we go again it's similar to that page I showed you what's going on with all the circuits okay now we're getting some uh, little tips on soldering certain components in that you don't get in that one single sheet talking about soldering the USB uh, port on and how they're showing the four points and then two points here for the power and there's three other ones that you do not solder they're probably the data connectors so those get left alone watch a little capacitor okay it looks like we're putting switches on the potentiometers and then we start soldering in the LEDs fun they're showing it right there and of course we're talking about paying attention to the positive negative poles and you know, the long and short side of the LED. Okay. Pretty simple stuff as far as LEDs go. Install the chip, talk about the base. That base is a really nice setup. So if you mess something up, you could probably get another chip from them. And here we go, almost the final project. I mean, product, it's almost done. And here it looks like they have it in the case. Again, my toner is running bad. No. <laughs> and supposed to do all these different things and color looks really cool they show all these different colors happening so I can't wait to see how the lights dance around and change color It'd be kind of interesting and they have other kits there's the radio now, it's a little different in this picture I was wondering this might be an older concept I like how the ferrite's on top like that then over here it makes sense to have it like that I have to tell them if they revise their radio um, they, they talked to me a little bit they may revise it after they saw my review uh, because the AM circuit's not the best um, I'm going to ask them to do that because that makes perfect sense to have the ferrite running horizontal on top. But they got a little, like a robot following kit. What's this here? Ultrasonic ranging and alarm kit. That's fun. But uh, the really cool thing I'm going to get is the Roger Time 3D Christmas tree. There he is, Santa. <laughs> I'm going to get this kit here and build it hopefully for Christmas. For have a little Christmas episode. All right, so there it is. So you get this PDF file. Um, if you guys can't get it from them, just contact me on my about section and say, hey, Todd Robert, I need the PDF file. I'll send it to you. No big deal. I'm there for you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and set this aside. Get that little star thing going out again. You know what I like to do here? Yeah, there we go. Stuff falling off the table. <laughs> I like to show this. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start working on this. Go ahead and zoom on in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide pictures of the build process as I go. All right, I'm going to get started and I'll come back with the final product. Here are pictures of the build process. In the first picture, I populated all the components on the back of the board. The 28 pin socket is orientated in one direction. Be careful not to use too much solder, otherwise the LEDs will be difficult to fit. In this next picture, I started populating the 40 LEDs. The points of the star first, then a couple at a time, working from the center outwards. Then I would check to make sure the top panel would fit. In this next picture, you can see me checking the placement of the top panel over the LEDs. The LEDs actually have to pass through the panel just ever so slightly. Every couple LEDs I did, I would check the top placement. This next picture, all four, 40 of these LEDs are fitted in place. Pay close attention to the areas I boxed in for reference. I had to use a small file to remove plastic on the bottom edges of these LEDs so they fit next to each other properly. If you don't adjust it, they'll be crooked and the top panel won't fit properly. Next picture here, I left all the LED legs uncut so I could easily check their proper orientation and also in the event an LED had to be adjusted to fit the top plate. I did notice that one spot I forgot to solder <laughs> on the bottom right there. Uh, last picture, I trimmed all the LED legs off. I checked to make sure the top fit properly. I then placed the MCU into the holder. 
and I had to adjust the pins on that microcontroller because they were bent outward too much and it wouldn't fit into the socket. So what you do is you just lay it sideways on a hard surface and kind of roll it forward a little bit, then flip it over and do the same for the other side. And you'll get a nice adjusted pins and you can put it into the socket easily. So let's go in front of us. Here we are, the Vogar time. Star, amazing. <laughs> Finished product, a lot of work went into this. Um, a great project for those needing some soldering experience. Um, as you can see, these LEDs do come through that top panel. All 40 of them. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, for $12.99, what a great little project kit. They give you a nice little enclosure. I'm loving it. Let's go ahead and look at my work. So there's the 40 LEDs. You can see some of the couple ones from the other side coming through there. We'll go ahead and flip this over. And you can see what I soldered in. There's our buzzer. Two switches. I'll tell you what they do in a little bit. Here's the USB power on the one side there. And it's nice how they come through the panel nicely, unobstructed. Over here, power switch, again, unobstructed there. And then you can see the uh, microcontroller. And I looked it up. It's actually a uh, eight kilobyte uh, flash on it. <laughs> so it's got a minimal flash, but it has a pulse width modulation channel. It has three of them, three channels for music. So if you're into making music, maybe you can make little chip tunes with this particular chip. <laughs> it would be a challenge. But uh, I looked it up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the PDF file down below in the description so you can check it out if you're interested in it. Because what they did here, if you look at what Volker Time did, they left four pins to access for programming. That's really good. You just put your little jumper there, and you can program the chip around the board. That's amazing. Glad they did that. Most companies will just leave that off. So they're not a bad setup. So then you can see my joints for the star there. Those are a lot of soldering, that's for sure. And you can see how close some of these were next to the the socket there, and then those one uh, LED, those LEDs, right? Those pairs, that pair, that pair, the one up here, and these two. See how close they fit? <laughs> if you don't file the edges at the bottom, they will not fit straight up. They'll be crooked. So take your time and do a little sanding. I don't know if you can see it in the picture here. Probably not. But I had to ed take the edge off on the bottom so it sit nice and straight. So there it is. So let's demo this. I'm going to plug it in. Got the USB cable right here. And we'll uh, see what it can do. Now it has annoying sound music. <laughs> it just keeps going and going. So, yeah, probably won't do the music too much, but we'll see what the uh, lights do. So I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to turn off the lights for effect, I think. That'd be neat. Let's do that. So it has different modes of lighting. It's multicolored, which is really cool. Yeah, that's really neat. That's coming out nice. Look at that. All right, and you can change the type of light by tapping this top button here. Hopefully that's looking good. It looks really cool in person. I'm not sure how it looks on my phone here. Yeah, we'll see. Some of these look really nice. I'm going to put the music on. It's kind of interesting music. Yeah, it keeps going for a while. <laughs> what a roll.
Okay. So there you go, that's a sound. <laughs> go turn these lights back on. Yeah, pretty impressed with it. There we go. So let's see where you need this in the focus. For size comparison, you can check that out. Um, dimensions, I guess I can go over dimensions real quick. It's uh, four inches in length here, and height were three and three eighths of an inch, and case depth's about an inch in depth. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I'd rather not do the music because it just keeps going. And <laughs> here comes the bride plays, and I got I think it does Happy Birthday and has a Christmas song on there. And I don't know if it's a Chinese songs playing there, <laughs> if it's a Chinese anthem or something. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. So let's go ahead and move this aside. We final thoughts here. I'm going to turn this off. The Vulgar Time LED Star Kit. <clears throat> Is it worth $12.99? Yeah, give it a go. Lots of fun, lots of work. It took me, I don't know, about an hour and a half to put together. But I was taking my time so I could make sure to get those LEDs fit properly. Um, like I said, that's the biggest challenge you'll have, putting this kit together. Um, that's the one I had. I'm trying to think of the other play. Yeah, just getting those really tight ones to fit there. That was a pretty big deal, and then making sure, see how close those LEDs fit to those joints there. That was another thing you had to watch. It was really close. If you used too much solder, those wouldn't fit properly. So there you go. The Worker Time Star Kit gets recommended by for me. I mean, there's so many kits out there, but for $12.99, you get quite a bit. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, <clears throat> instead of four extra LEDs, I got 12 extra LEDs. So I got some for next project. So, yeah, thanks, guys. They gave me 12 instead of four. I love it. <clears throat> Always nice to see. So if you enjoyed the video presentation of the Vulgar Time Star Kit, please give me a big like. You guys are awesome. Two, if you want to see more kits, hit subscribe at the bell icon. You know what about future do-it-yourself kits or electronic projects that I put together. And three, comment below what you think about this particular kit. It would be something you'd buy <clears throat> to give to a friend, family member, for yourself. I think it's just really neat. You can have it sitting up like this, laying flat, uses USB power, very simple. So yeah, just comment below. Tell me what you think. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next episode.